Hi there, Scorpio. Thank you for joining me for your June monthly forecast. Last month, I told you about a wonderful solar eclipse. The energy of that is going to be going on for the next six months, but it does come up with a challenge on the fourth day of this month through the lunar eclipse. They tend to work in pairs, not always on the same axis. This one is, and this one is saying to you that if you're spending money too freely and not thinking about the long-term consequences, then what would happen if your circumstances changed? So before you splash out on a new car, new furniture, or that luxury cruise, just stop and pause and think, would you end up with a case of buyer's remorse, or could you afford the repayments if things did alter? But I'm not trying to be a killjoy because there's loads of good stuff coming for you. Mercury moves on the 7th. It's in a dazzling part of your scope when it comes to communicating with people at a distance, opening up your world. But it does clash with your co-ruler, Pluto, for a few days just after then. Watch out for someone who's very, very opinionated. They could really be a tough opponent. Also, watch out for your own tendency to be very dogmatic in these few days. On the 12th, however, the solar moon's energy is reactivated when Jupiter moves into the same area. Jupiter's going to be here for a year. Now, if you've got one ounce of business potential or acumen, if you can really apply it over the next year, it could pay off you marvelously well. But you can't be passive about this. Then there is a new moon on the 19th, which is more energy. So if you're someone who is interested in, in growing your resources, and as long as you're not too rash, then the chances of improving that nest egg are very strong indeed. But there's another byproduct for all of this, because all this energy is very, very sexy. It's very much to do with intimacy. And of course, you have that reputation to maintain. And of course, it's not always true. You can't always be in a red hot relationship. But if you really want to be in one, or you want to get closer to someone you're seeing at the present time, or make a formal commitment, this can be an exciting time too. Conversely, it could be a time when you suddenly and dramatically break off an element of your life that is no longer working. Now there is a change on the 21st when the sun sweeps into Cancer, where it's going to be great for you. This is about bringing greater spontaneity to your world. And also, there is a change on the 25th when Saturn ends a five-month backward journey in your sector that's very much to do with your psychology and clearing up loose ends. If you're an older Scorpio, some of these may have begun around 26 and a half years ago. If you're younger, perhaps more recently. But a new beginning is starting to shape up for you in October when Saturn moves into your own sign. Get a bit of a taste of this when Mercury moves to the top of your horoscope before the end of this month. This suggests that a professional opportunity could come up for you, and that could be to do with you uh, being promoted or getting some kind of reward for a lot of hard work in the past. And with Jupiter and Venus going side by side in the last few days of this month, this could be a time when you do get very up close and personal to someone in a very positive way, or it could be that you are genuinely going to have a stroke of fortune. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.